What's up, Internetpreneurs? This is John Collins Palmer from OnlineLibertyLifestyle.com um, coming at you live from a deserted, creepy parking garage. I'm just going for a walk. I'm actually in Huntsville and visiting some old friends uh, from my college days, which was, you know, just a couple months ago. So those relationships are still fresh, but um, they're some of my best friends. Uh, we're in a, a, a Christian group called Chi Alpha. It's a campus ministry and um, some of those contacts will be business partners in the future. Some of them will just be lifelong friends and brothers. So visiting them, hanging out, um, we're actually doing a prayer walk on the campus and stuff like that, but um, making my video for today because I'm devoted to this challenge. Um, today's topic is um, the power of video um, and why it's such an important tool nowadays uh, you know, whether you own a business and you want to stay in contact with your customers and the people you're trying to market to. Um, social media is just so important, but video and YouTube especially because, you know, you're going to really develop a much stronger community when you use video, when people can see you uh, face to face. You know, this isn't really face to face because I'm not really here, you're just watching a video and it's not live. But when you have video, it's the second best thing, you know? It's the second best thing besides like physically being there right next to you, watching a video of me talking to you, being uh, legit and um, authentic with you is uh, something that you can really only portray face to face or in video. So. You're sensing my authenticity here. You're sensing that, you know, I really do want to build a community. And that's why I'm making these videos. That's why I want to give you tips on how you can grow and expand your business and what I'm learning in my business. And, you know, video is just the most important tool to do that with. Um, you know, I used to, I think that YouTube used to allow people to make direct video comments in response to other videos. I don't know if they can, you can still do that on YouTube. I know you can do that on Facebook. You know, someone can post a status update and then you can comment with a video. You know, I think that they should implement that into YouTube because it's all about, you know, making a community, expanding a community. With content marketing especially, like, you know, people don't want to buy your product or anything like that unless you educate them first, okay? So if you have a website, you're gonna need to make a ton of blog posts. People are gonna search for your business online um, because you have tons and tons of blog posts and you offer them free information. You're willing to educate them about their problem and then offer a solution to them, but not before you educate them, all right? People want to be educated and they want it to be free because that's the whole point of the internet is learning all these different things that you can learn for free and sometimes if your audience trusts you enough then they'll buy your product because you've earned that trust so you know like I said the best way to earn trust is to talk to people face to face and that's what you're doing with video right so um, yeah, I'm gonna to cut to some footage that I made earlier today. Um, I went to a place called Mod Pizza. Awesome place, you know, it's basically, you go there, you pay like about eight bucks, and then you can get a pizza with literally all of the things. <laughs> I got a pizza with like 15 or 20 different toppings. So I'll cut to that footage, and I'll show you how Mod Pizza really takes into account uh, the importance of community uh, building testimonials and making people feel like they're at home. You know, there's like a hospitality factor into it. Um, so yeah, I'll just cut to that and uh, you can really see an example of how a business develops community. What's up internetpreneurs? I'm here with my friend Greg. We're at uh, Mod Pizza. This is a crazy pizza place. It's basically the subway of pizzas. I've put like literally 10 different things on my pizza, four different cheeses, uh, 
like six different meats, all the vegetables, and I think it's just an incredible business model. The idea of like the Subway franchise, you go in, you put anything you want on it, you walk out. They're applying it to pizza, they're applying it to burritos, you know, it's huge with stuff like Pita Pit, um, Free Birds, Bullritos, like everybody's doing that now. And it's just brilliant that they've brought that model to pizzas. You know, what's next, Chinese food maybe? But uh, awesome, just thought I'd share this because it's delicious. <laughs> well, I assume, I haven't tried it yet, but um, yeah, the business model here is amazing. The first thing you want to do when you're building your business is create as many testimonials as possible. And this company has done a great job of doing that as well. Like this wall here is just a ton of pictures of people smiling and having a great time at mods. And uh, it's amazing social proof when that happens. So without further ado, let's uh, try this pizza. I gave Greg one of my slices. He gave me one of his. Here's Greg's pizza. Did you put pineapple on this? I did. You're one of pineapple those people? Goes pizza. Yes, it does. Oh my god. All right. You can put anything on a pizza, okay? Mm. Oh wow. Also very good. Options here are limitless. Just like Matt Lloyd's book. <laughs> so another important important facet about building a business is creating community. So, you know, a lot of restaurants will do this, well they'll just have a wall, you can put a sticker on it, and then you can sign your name, so that like you literally become part of the company and you literally literally leave your mark. Um, this is a really good business model to uh, create community. You know, that's what social media is all about, is creating community, and that's why every business does social media. And if they don't, they're failing terribly, <laughs> because, you know, people aren't gonna trust you, they're not gonna buy your product or service, unless they trust you, unless they feel like other people trust you as well. So it's another thing to think about.